What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA playoffs. Saturday, July 3rd. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have an NBA showdown between the Milwaukee Bucks and the Atlanta Hawks. So let's take a look at the point guard position. I like Drew Holiday from the Milwaukee Bucks playing the Atlanta Hawks who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they give up the eighth most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Drew Holiday has averaged 36.9 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. He scored 53, 35, and 40 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 41, 38, and 41 minutes. He's projected at 42 fantasy points here tonight. And with Giannis and Anacupo out, that's gonna be a big boost to the rest of these Milwaukee Bucks. So I like Drew Holiday here versus the Atlanta Hawks. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I like Lou Williams from the Atlanta Hawks playing the Milwaukee Bucks, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Lou Williams, he scored 24, 41, and 14 fantasy points in the last three games playing 35, 35, and 17 minutes. He's projected at 26 fantasy points here tonight. And with Trey Young out, he's played 35 minutes both games. So that's encouraging. So I think he's got a pretty good chance of hitting or exceeding value here. So I like Lou Williams here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. The other shooting guard you could go with is Kevin Herter. He's a little more expensive, and but he scored 29, 36, and 35 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 37, 36, and 36 minutes. He's projected at 29 fantasy points here tonight. He's also got a nice bump with Trey Young out. So I also like Kevin Herter here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like Chris Middleton from the Milwaukee Bucks. He averaged 36.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate. He scored 62, 35, and 58 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 44, 36, and 42 minutes. He's projected at 45 fantasy points here tonight, so I like Chris Middleton here versus the Atlanta Hawks. Another small forward I like is Bogdan Bogdanovich from the Atlanta Hawks. He averaged 28.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 30 minutes per game with a 21% usage rate. He scored 40, 41, and 26 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 38, 33, and 35 minutes. He's projected at 33 fantasy points here tonight. So I like Bogdan Bogdanovich here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, if you're looking for a low salary player who's got some upside, take a look at Danilo Gallinari. He averaged 22 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 24 minutes per game with a 21% usage rate. He scored 23, 10, and 26 fantasy points in the last three games playing 22, 19, and 35 minutes. He's projected at 23 fantasy points here tonight. He's probably gonna be one of the lower owned players. Hasn't really performed well, even with Trey Young out, but he does have 30 plus fantasy point upside. So I think you gotta consider him as a sleeper pick. So I like Danilo Gallinari here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. 
Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. I like John Collins from the Atlanta Hawks. He averaged 31.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. He scored 33, 20, and 22 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 34, 29 and 23 minutes he's projected at 34 fantasy points here tonight his salary is pretty low so i like john collins here versus the milwaukee bucks another power forward i like is bobby portis from the milwaukee bucks he averaged 24.2 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 21 minutes per game with a 21 percent usage rate he scored 45 fantasy points in 35 minutes last game with Giannis Antetokounmpo out. If he's going to play 30 minutes or more, this guy is a point per, point per minute monster. He's projected at 30 fantasy points here tonight. His salary on FanDuel's still pretty low, so he's probably one of my favorite plays on the slate on FanDuel. I'll have to take a look at his DraftKings price at the end of this video, but I like Bobby Portis here versus the Atlanta Hawks. Okay, another power forward that I like, this is more of a high risk, high reward sleeper pick here. To make your lineup different, I like PJ Tucker from the Milwaukee Bucks. He scored 21, 10, and 19 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 37, 27, and 33 minutes. He's projected at 21 fantasy points here tonight. Now, he's only 1,000 less on FanDuel, so at least on FanDuel, I just I would play Bobby Portis over P.J. Tucker probably 100% of the time, but he will be a low-owned play. He does have 25-plus fantasy point upside, so just depending on your lineup construction. Also, take a look at his DraftKings price at the end of this video. So I like P.J. Tucker as a sleeper pick here versus the Atlanta Hawks. Okay, moving on to the center position. I like Clint Capella from the Atlanta Hawks. He averaged 40 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 30 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He scored 25, 27, and 29 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 21, 27, and 27 minutes. He's projected at 33 fantasy points here tonight. Now, he's been super disappointing throughout the playoffs. Hasn't really played more than 30 minutes a game. This pick, I'm a, little, I'm a little hesitant on Clint Capella, but I know he's got massive upside if he can get going. So I think he makes a good tournament play. So I like Clint Capella here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. And another center that I like is Brooke Lopez from the Milwaukee Bucks. He averaged 24.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. He scored 57, 17, and 20 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 37, 28, and 24 minutes. So without Giannis Ananakupo on the floor, he had a 26% usage rate last game. He benefited quite a bit without Giannis on the court. Had a monster game. He's projected at 30 fantasy points here tonight. So I like Brooke Lopez here versus the Atlanta Hawks. Okay, let's switch over to DraftKings real quick and take a look at the prices. Uh, Bobby Portis. Yeah, he's only 6,200 DraftKings salary. Um, he's priced up a little bit. I think he has a better FanDuel price. But he's still looking pretty good over there on DraftKings. 
And then let's see the other guy that we wanted to check the price. PJ Tucker, 4,400. Uh, I think I'd still rather just pay up the 6,200 for Bobby Portis, but he's only 4,400. So depending on your lineup construction, you could go there. Now, a guy that has a really low salary on DraftKings is Danilo Gallinari. So that's a guy that you could look at on DraftKings if you want to save some salary. He's only 3,800 DraftKings salary. If he scores 25 fantasy points like he did last game, that, that's 6.4 times value. So that could be a nice value play on DraftKings. Just looking at these other prices real quick. Clint Capella is also pretty cheap on DraftKings. Only 6,600 DraftKings salary. So I think he may be worth taking a shot on over there on DraftKings. And one last outside deep sleeper pick on both sites he's super cheap is Pat Connington. Now, he, he only scored 13, 9, and 19 fantasy points in the last three games playing 21, 26, and 32 minutes. But we know he has 25 fantasy point upside if he gets going, which would be monster value if he could get there on DraftKings. He's only 2,600 DraftKings salary. So he really only needs like 18, 20 fantasy points and he'd crush value for you. I think he's got a pretty good chance to do it. He had a 16% usage rate last game. So I don't mind Pat Connington as a deep sleeper pick if you're looking to make one of your turn up lineups different. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.